Hey YouTube, uh, just gonna do another drum lesson of fills today. Uh, I got three more for you. A um, little bit more complex than the first ones, uh, but still fairly simple for anyone. Um, first one I'm gonna do is, um, I don't know if there's a real name for it. I would call it like a Tom 3 snare 3. Uh, so what you do is, it's a four count, so it's fairly simple to count out. Use a metronome, you'll get good time on it. It it just sounds really cool, and you can get it going really fast with like minimal practice. You know, you just put in two minutes a day, and you'll have it no time. Um, so what you do is you're just doing a right, left, right, left pattern. Um, first hit is going to be on a tom and then your next three are on the snare and you can move it down the drums you can do it on one drum back and forth um, really fast I've used it in a couple of my videos um, it just sounds really cool it's fairly simple I'll just show you that really slow at first and then I'll speed it up a bit so you can kinda see what you can do with it from there Okay. So that's it, uh, fairly simple. Um, yeah, just practice a little bit every day at that one. It's really fun to play, uh, really easy. Um, you could also move like your first hit to a cymbal. You can move like one of your left hits to a hi-hat or a cymbal, you know, you can just move it around, just be creative with it. Uh, I just teach you kind of like the basic foundation and then you do what you want with it. Um, so that's the first one. Uh, second one I've got here, a um, little more complex. It's a right, left, left, right, left, left. Um, you're going to count it as triplets, so like one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. Um, yeah, just right, left, left. Uh, you can move it around the kit, but I'll show you it in like a way that I just kind of jammed out to it today and it sounded really cool um yeah one it, like it's one of the cool ones because it's simple and when you learn it with a metronome you'll really start to understand muscle memory because you'll pick it up fairly quickly if you start at a slow beat like 60 or 80 beats per minute and before you know it you'll be doing it really quickly and you won't even be thinking about it so it really helps you understand the whole muscle memory thing um, I'll just show it to you here so it's just right left left So the way I was playing it was you do your first hit with the bass, it just kind of, you know, adds that extra oomph to it. Um, you just switch it back and forth between, um, like, your right here and your left here, and then your right here and your left here. So you just do one count of this one, one of that one. Um, you want to repeat it twice. Uh, you could just do it as a six but I find it's easier to throw it into like a 4-4 four, four count if you make it a 12. Um, yeah, it it sounds a little tricky at first because your snare hit is repeating a triple because it's going left, left here, and then your right's coming over and making a right hit. But once you kind of understand that and you hear it in your head, just keep a steady count with a metronome and then you'll kind of work through that. And it, it really helps you to hear those notes distinctively. 
Um, yeah, so that's that one. Again, moving around the kit, be creative, just have fun with it. Um, last one here. Uh, we'll do like a triplet back and forth, I guess I'd call it. Um, I have trouble playing this one slow because I just find it fun to play it really fast. So hopefully I don't screw up. If I do, just bear with me and it'll come together. Uh, I'll try and show you here. So you're just going to count triplets. Um, let me play it once because it even is hard for me to understand unless I play it. So. So your first hit of the triplet will always be on the tom, um, but you're alternating hands, so it's going to go right, left, right, and then left, right, left. But your first hit will always be on the tom of the triplet, so your hands will al alternate going up to the, the tom, or the floor tom, or the ride, or wherever you want to put it. Um, it doesn't sound very cool when it's slow, but I'll show you it's sped up, and then you'll probably recognize it because it's often used in stuff like drum solos and whatnot. Again, it's counted as one and a two and a three and a four and a. Um, again, use a metronome. Can't stress that enough. that was it sped up and then I used the first fill there to kind of throw in a little mix into it going down and then right back into that again uh, yeah that's all I got for this lesson again if you have questions um, if you'd like sheet music I can post it um, yeah feel free to ask questions if you need any help or anything I'm always here have a good day